New, 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 new. New, 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 new. So, okay, we finally have some of these bar displays in um, long, thin TFT displays. Um, these are like 320 ish by 900 ish pixels. Um, they are uh, really nice bar displays that you can control with one of our Qualia boards. They just came in like at 4 p.m. today, so I'll have a demo. Maybe next time I'll, uh, I'll set up a demo to show you guys. But um, they are RGB TTL, so you can't control them with any Arduino. You need something that's designed for RGB 666 um, display control. But they've got lots of pixels, and they're like nice, long, and thin. It's rare to see like such thin displays. They're yeah. thinner than a phone. I don't, like I think they would be used for like um, heads-up displays. Yeah, some fun demos. We'll yeah, well, some fun demos, uh, sushi conveyor belts, and such. But um, they're finally in stock, so if you've been waiting for these, pick them up. Next, we've got an update for our 8x16 um, LED backpacks. Um, we've been slowly redesigning all of our LED backpack boards to have STEMI QT board uh, connectors on the back. And this one has two of them, so you can easily chain together multiple uh, backpack boards or connect other sensors and devices. Um, so this is the latest round in our big redesign push. We've got many, many redesigns, so all of them We'll eventually have STEM and QT ports right now. Only the red one does, but we'll do the rest of the colors. So, Next up, also had a redesign for this um, RTD HDMI driver that's for uh, a five-inch display. Um, if you go back, I'll show you what changed. What changed is it used to have a separate cable for USB. Now it has a micro USB port right on there. Um, it's a little bit more compact. Um and uh, it comes like pre-programmed now. It doesn't have the various select for source. It just does HDMI in automatically. So you don't, you don't have to worry about accidentally selecting a separate source. But the biggest change is that it now has the uh, micro USB instead of a separate USB cable. Okay. That looks great. Work with anything that is HDMI. Next up. Also have an update to the Ultimate GPS Breakout. It's one of our most popular boards. Um, we're still selling this extremely popular uh, GPS that can use the internal antenna or an external antenna. Um, works, you know, great with uh, Arduino, CircuitPython, Python, anything that gives you, wants UART GPS data. Um, I think this one is the one that uh, also can be used for high altitude, can do 10 hertz updates. I love that you can just use external antenna. So the new thing is it now comes with the battery um, attached on the back. So if you want to have the real-time clock, keep track of time, even when it's depowered, you no longer have to solder the battery on. It comes soldered on for you. Very handy. All right. And then the start of the show, besides you, Lady Ada, our team, our community, everyone who purchases things from Adafruit to support an open-source hardware company manufacturing in the USA is... Yay! This 3.5-inch capacitive multi-touch display uh, that you can be used in SPI or 8-bit mode. Um, these are some displays that I, I bought like almost 10 years ago and I forgot about them. And then we were cleaning up and I found a bin of 800 displays. And I was like, oh my goodness, I should really get these into the shop. So um, I designed a breakout board, but it's good timing because um, yeah. I've been doing so many redesigns that I've learned a lot and made this board even better. So if we go to the overhead. Uh, so one nice thing is um, it has a iSpike connector um so instead of having to have a gigantic wired up demo look at how elegant this is i just have this cutie pie board with a um a i spy cutie pie bff on the back and it just plugs and plays and i have um full backlight and touch support um i'll uh i'll connect it up so it makes and it's you know i can move it around easier so this is a multi-touch display so you can actually have um it can detect multiple fingers so here i've got Four. It can do five, but I don't have, I guess it's about <laughs> to do five fingers at a time. I don't know. You can't really tell, but it can do five multi-touch. Uh, it's 320 by 480. Um, you can use SPI um, and it can do pretty fast SPI to the um, onboard display. Although I'll say if you want really fast updates, use the 8-bit input. So you'll need a lot more pins and of course a microcontroller that can handle 8-bit um, display updates, but you're writing eight bits at a time instead of one bit at a time. So it's like at least twice as fast, maybe four times as fast. Um, it's got capacitive multi-touch over I squared C. There's also an IRQ pin, so you can detect when a touch is detected. Uh, 
on the SPI port, there's the micro, you, uh, micro SD card, so you can store images if you want to display them on here. i uh, got some mounting pads, level shifting. You can use this with I squared C or SPI. Because it has built-in memory buffer, even though it's got 320 by, two, 320 by 480 pixels, two bytes per pixel, you can use it with um, any microcontroller, pretty much, because um, the memory, the image is buffered on here. You just tell it, hey, draw red at this location, and we'll draw red at that location. So, um, you know, it's it's great for use with microcontrollers, microcomputers, Raspberry Pi has support for um, this display as well. And uh, now with capacitive touch, so we have a resistive touch one and a beautiful capacitive touch one um, with nice shiny display and multi-touch support. And that's new products.